six. You know, we all talk about the topic of aging and uh, aging gracefully. How'd you come up with this concept to do this particular show on the subject of aging? I had reached the age that I was when my father died. Mm. And I didn't want to have the same fate happen to me. And I had met Carolisa and been very impressed at how effectively she had held back aging. And then looking at her and seeing what had happened there, and also getting to know a person by the name of Lisa Walford, whose father is in the show, uh, we really were introduced to the whole idea that there's a distinction between chronological age, which is the year you were born and how old you are yeah. by the clock, yeah. and how well you age. Right. This is Roy Walford right now. As right, a as a matter of fact, yeah. Once we got that as a point of departure, we started to ask the question, can we reverse aging, and how do we go about doing it? Mm -hmm. We thought that people uh, we're concerned about certain things during the aging process. Mm -hmm. we, we picked pretty much the popular subjects and then went for the people that were actually out in the forefront uh, talking about these things and explaining how these things work. Right. People are going to get to see a wide variety of types of experts with a wide variety of, of things we can do. We've seen a little bit on the screen behind us. You also have one of the last interviews with Dr. Robert Atkins. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how that came about. Well, Dr. Atkins was a very interesting person because he very early on learned that refined carbohydrates are bad for you and that's the bulk of the American diet and we had interviewed Dean Ornish who blatantly attacked him and said that people on the Atkins diet who are eating a high protein high fat diet are actually clogging the arteries of their heart and so we contacted Dr. Atkins and gave him a chance to respond. Uh -huh. And so Carolise and I flew to New York. And of course, Dr. Atkins, even though he was um, in his late 70s, was right. quite taken with Carolise. And <laughs> she, her presence there really got him to open up quite a bit and to explain what he stood for and to respond quite vociferously right. to his critics. Buy a copy of the show because there's so much information in it. And when uh, people see it, uh, it's hard to digest all the information. Right. So when you, when you have it, uh, you can stop and go, and you can make your notes. You can think about it. You can go back and look at it again if you've missed something mm -hmm. or if you want to hear it again. Right. Um, it's just good to have it because um, it, it'll all be there whenever you, you want it. Good luck with this. Sounds like a great, exciting show. We thank you both for joining us today. Catch it and find out more about some good tips, good techniques that... Uh, we can all apply to our lives to make our lives more healthy and uh, more successful.